Well guys, FNA Restorations Day 8000 or Day 5 for video coherency. It is the end of April here. I don't know what today is. April 30th. Been a long cold one, people. Shitty winter. For anybody around here, you know how it's been. Shitty. But everybody was asking for updates and when she was going over, all that good stuff. So, just checking things out. She just started out this morning, it was 35 degrees out. I mean, right now it's still only about 40, 41, with a little bit of a northerly, northeasterly breeze, so she ain't much, but all kinds of shit going on here in the yard. Kennedy's Marine has already installed 22 motors this winter, which is nothing short of building the pyramids in Egypt. They've been out straight, so once again, I'm low man on the totem pole. Just waiting to have some wiring left done, and we'll show you over the boat, show you what we've done, got done last fall pretty much when it was inside. It was inside for a couple weeks, and Roger's father, of Roger the head mechanic, owner of the place here, his father had a sinking accident, uh, was grounded out, and his boat tipped over, and the tide come back and it was a great big mess so uh, I got cut short on being inside the building and they got the motor running and whatnot but still had to do some minor stuff hook up a few steering lines and do some wiring basic shit so but we'll uh, go over the boat here right now and just show you what we got done anyway we got the name on a people all shiny from Dino McGray. Dean McGray of Addison did that. We've got the keel pipes on. Those are put on last fall. Got a Walter keel pipes. Still haven't got a wheel on. I think I need to get a different wheel. We're working on putting a different rudder on. Name on the stern piece. Looking good. These are handy dandy ladder people. No one's gonna steal this one. Built in Johnny J's wood shop. Whoo, ain't she shiny. Got a few cleats installed. Just for tying off and whatnot. This boat's coming in and out of this yard left and right. So, another one going. That was one right on side of me, Todd Pinkham's overkill. That one got launched today. Everybody getting horny about going fishing. We got a few guys over here working on that shit. And we're in the back row still. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So. Got Neil Kennedy's boat leaving right now. There she goes, another one leaving the yard. Just uh, finishing up on my pot hauler here, guys. Had to throw all this stuff together, put the motor in. And did this last fall, put a bulkhead together. Mounted a uh, stainless backing plate. Got all that shit done anyway last year, along with that Davy. Had to have this all modified, reconnected. The way she went in. So, all brand new stuff, brand new block. Had a nice little rig here to undo. And we wanna take that thing apart here. So that came out good. Tell you what guys, when you're throwing this shit together, I put them on the uh, motor bolts themselves to mount the, boat, the motor itself, but put a little Nevises on this stuff, 
Jesus, it doesn't hurt. It goes a long ways when you're trying to take the ship back together, or take it back apart, so. Never sees, goes a long ways. Good stuff. Just putting our splitter together right now. We'll uh, get this thing done. Well, there's our finished product there, guys. Got a stainless pot hauler all mounted. Stainless knife. Stainless rope separator. All mounted. Motor intact. Looks pretty sharp. Might have to put another middle shim inside of there. Not quite good enough, but we, uh, what else have we done here, people? Got our exhaust all installed. We got, we ended up just making a makeshift hatch for here. That's still got to be kind of slightly modified. We redid our engine box, painted that all up. Still got to do a little gel coating right there, nothing serious. Don't have to, I guess, but. Got our washboards all done with our rail all mounted. Got a nice little divider back there. Put cleats in on these sides. Tying traps down and whatnot. Got our fuel tank all refinished here. There was no fuel fill there before, it was down inside. Now I just gotta tear apart this steering get my rudder off that thing is a rusty beast so yeah that's the next bitch I guess got a we gel coated our floor all out that was all indoor work last year just a quick job guys we weren't too fierce about making this thing perfect I plan to do more to it in the next couple of years anyway so the fuel tank is in the back underneath the floor I want to tear that out and put a fuel tank the fuel tank up in the middle of the boat so that's gonna be a bitch but make it so the fuel fill ain't there the fuel line runs under the washboard here so it runs all the way length under the washboard up underneath so I want to do away with that that's where she goes down right there I want to do away with that see you can't do anything as far as screwing into the washboard because the fuel tank the fuel line runs right underneath it so get a new set of Morse controls gotta install these bad boys For them bad boys. Still got a little shit to do. I gotta put a through hull in and a water pump. Mount my pot hauler and shit. Nothing too serious left, guys. She'll be launched hopefully within two weeks. But it's just been a shitty winter. I mean, shitty spring. It's been cold and miserable. And blowing. I mean, the price was up on lobsters, but I did a lot of pound diving up until uh, a couple weeks ago. I was diving down on Beals Island. So, just been out straight, guys. and Finally starting to get a little weather to do this. Work on a few traps and get gear work done and whatnot. But just kind of picking away at it. This weather hasn't got anybody super fierce unless they're, you know, offshore fishermen and got new traps and new boats and whatnot. So they've been doing pretty good outside, but for where I fish inside three miles is nothing special quite yet. So make days pay, but it ain't, you know, nothing great. So anyway, I'm going to give a giving a shout out here to the guy that did the name he's from Addison actually Harrington I guess but Dino's Graphics I have a little picture somewhere little link call him up you want boat name 
he did mine for 200 bucks, which I thought was pretty reasonable. I wasn't, I didn't want to spend six, seven hundred dollars on a boat name. I mean, I plan on doing the work I just told you to the floor and repainting the outside of the boat here eventually. So the name will come off and have to be put back on anyway. But yeah, but no, we got the motor running. Kennedy's got that running last fall. So just waiting on some little tidbits here, guys. So. We'll keep you posted. Hopefully the next video is a launch day. Launch day. F in A. There will probably not be any drinking aboard this boat on that day. No coffee brandy. We got a work cut out for us, but wouldn't matter if she was completely done, I'm sure there's still something else I'd want to do to it because that's just part of owning the boat. You've just got to do something else. So, anyway, we'll keep you posted, guys. We'll see you next time.